Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. May the Lord pour out countless graces and blessings upon you. Before discussing today's topic, let us pray offering our petitions to God the Father. O Supreme God in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son whom you sacrificed to save us your pitiable children from the fires of hell. Please hear our prayers. We offer you our humble sacrifices. We accept challenges and sufferings as a means to bring redemption to souls in the warning. We beseech you to grant forgiveness to sinners who find it difficult to return and accept your merciful heart, so that they may offer to you the necessary sacrifices and repentance before your sight. Amen. I hope you will enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us and listen to this video until the very end. Type Amen Amen if you believe God always blesses you. If you appreciate the content and want to support our channel, consider giving us a super thanks. Your support helps us continue to bring you transformative spiritual insights. We gather here under the sacred light of God's grace to contemplate a profound and urgent revelation that has been granted to us. Our beloved mother, the Virgin Mary, with boundless concern for our happiness, has shared with us a vision of the forthcoming challenges in October. This prophetic disclosure is not surprising as it forewarns us of three major difficulties that will test our faith, resilience, and wholeheartedness. First, she spoke to the church authorities and then to the people here. We will discuss how there is only one grand message from the Virgin Mary in all of her apparitions supplemented with specific revelations in each apparition. This macroscopic message is beginning to show us the immediate future, what it entails and not just the significant events. Over 400 years ago, Mother appeared to the Reverend Mother Mariana de Jesus Torres Anonymous of the Conceptionist Order in Quito, Ecuador, in the capacity of Our Lady of Good Success. To demonstrate her authenticity she declared that the infallibility of the Pope would be defined as a dogma of faith. By the same Pope chosen to proclaim the dogma of the Immaculate Conception in 1854, Pope Pius IX declared the dogma of the Immaculate Conception in 1870. He defined the dogma of papal infallibility as determined by Vatican Council. I thus confirming the fulfillment of Our Lady prophecy. On January 21, 1610, Our Lady of Good Success told Mother Mariana that at the end of the 19th century and, especially in the 20th century, Satan would reign almost entirely through the Masonic sect. She announced that there would be a great moral and spiritual decline in the world targeting the clergy, the sacrament of marriage, and the Church of Jesus Christ on earth. She spoke of corrupt priests who would scandalize the faithful and cause suffering to the good priests. Unbridled lust will ensnare many souls. They will corrupt the innocence of children and the modesty of women. There will be a scarcity of vocations to the priesthood and religious life while those who should speak will remain silent. Hasn't this already happened, but she also said that heaven will intervene. Mother said. This will mark the hour of me when I will crush the prideful. And cursed Satan trampling him under my fortune. And chaining him in the depths of hell. And three hundred years after Our Lady warned us in Quito she came to Fatima. And warned us once again through Sister Lucia Our Lady of Fatima prophesied that the final battle will be waged against marriage. And the family more notably from the apparitions of La Salette. We are witnessing the greatest battle of all time since the creation of the world. Saint Michael the Archangel fought against Lucifer, expelled him from heaven crying out who is like God. Starting with the apparitions of Rudu back in 1830 as Our Lady of the Miraculous Metal Mother has appeared more extensively worldwide than ever before. And since the beginning of the 20th century, Mother has appeared numerous times because the Triune God entrusted to her the mission of defeating Satan and his army, especially the Masonic sect. These apparitions must be regarded as one because they all give us the same central message with only specific emphases in each appearance. They affirm the importance and power of the Rosary, the significance of the priesthood, and the emphasis on the sacrament of the Eucharist. 
Urgently they call for prayer and repentance and warn us of the impending disasters if humanity's conversion does not occur. He has scheduled the upcoming events and communicated them to the visionaries in secret which will be disclosed on the days. Determined by heaven both in Garabandal and Majugia as well as in many subsequent apparitions. Mother Mary has conveyed a message about the warning of miracles and punishments one such example is when the Virgin appeared under the title of Mary Reconciler of all peoples and nations. And spoke to the servant of God Maria Esperanza a mystical prophetess from Batonia Venezuela. She formed of a warning that the crucial moment of the great day is approaching the conscience of these dear ones must tremble violently. So that they place orders for their homes. Monitoring this miracle will manifest in the form of tangible signs at the actual apparition site to help people understand that the warning that the entire global population receives comes from God. Another prophetic event occurred in Akita, Japan where Sister Agnes Sasagawa was visited on October 13, 1973. In this encounter, it was prophesied that unless humanity repents a great fire will descend from the sky to serve as a dramatic warning urging us to amend our lives. In the context of these events, Mother Mary in her apparitions in Majugia has conveyed that the impending punishments can be mitigated through prayer and repentance. Mariana declared a sin that threatened the world has been removed through fasting and prayer. Mother Mary emphasized you have forgotten that with fasting and prayer. You can avert wars and suspend the laws of nature. Therefore Mother Mary always calls for fasting and prayer in all her apparitions emphasizing their importance in addition to this comprehensive global vision. Mother Mary also provides profound insights into upcoming events in the future journalist Michael H. Brown editor of Spirit's Daily interviewed renowned visionary Manuela Strack in early 2022. Manuela revealed that she had a private meeting with Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger on February 10, 2004 followed by a meeting with Pope John Paul II the next day. In these encounters, she shared the secret entrusted to her by the Virgin on October 30, 2021. Manuela was permitted by heaven to disclose a portion of the secret in which she could see three keys. That had been given to Pope John Paul II 18 years prior. The Virgin Mary appeared handing her three keys hanging on a golden keychain revealing the secret entrusted to Pope John Paul II. Taking the first key from the keychain she placed it in manual as right hand a red key that looked daunting. Immediately an image flashed before her unfolding like a film in which she saw herself somehow merging together witnessing the abyss of hell. The deep and chilling darkness. She briefly saw Satan the ruler of darkness. The vision then shifted to earth showing jihadist terrorist groups plotting and executing numerous attacks worldwide. A painful persecution of Christians had begun especially in the Middle East. With their martyr damaged into sight. Chaos on earth surged characterized by the reign of supreme evil erupting in the venom of hell. Civil wars erupted in most countries growing more severe due to the abuse of God's creation leading to severe natural disasters. Earth shook under the weight of sin buried beneath fierce storms. And celestial bodies falling from the sky. The world resembled Babylon on a brief but unprecedented scale propelled by the influence of demons the power of mammon and the empowered rulers. A wave of violence thread ceaselessly across the globe. On the 20th and 25th Maria revealed images of an impending earthquake, a fierce firestorm, and an object falling from the sky. Placing the second key into his hand, she disclosed how she would shield her children. The vision opened depicting the priests of the Holy Mother and the children of the Virgin Mary not only protecting the Church of Jesus Christ, but also redeeming the world through a profound sacrifice. Finally, Mother Mary gently took the third key from her golden ring and placed it in Manuela's right hand. A heart-wrenching scene unfolded. Rome was besieged, and the Vatican Basilica of St. Peter was fiercely attacked. The new pope had to go into hiding, the Church of Jesus Christ, the Catholic Church, was oppressed initially in secret then subtly, and then officially. And there was a church that looked like the Catholic Church but operated ineffectively because it was not the Church of Jesus Christ. For this reason, priests who adhere to the laws of God will have to endure much suffering even the sacrament of the Eucharist will be in danger. In 2019 Manuela received a message from Mother Mary stating that we would face three difficulties in this month. 
Let us remember that shortly after the Ukrainian war outbreak occurred, but she said the three-year difficulties were just to overcome something more serious. She was told that we must pray very much the church will face a very difficult test in October 2023. On October 25, 2022 the infant Jesus told Manuela about the situation of the church. Thank you for watching this video about God's presence. I hope it has comforted your mind and refreshed your spirit. If you appreciated this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also please hit the like button and leave a comment below to tell me how you feel God's presence in your life. And make sure to share this video with your friends and family who need to experience God's presence in their situations. In conclusion, may the adoration you offer to Christ bring you closer to his heart may you be a living testimony of his love and mercy to those around you. Amen. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, click on the super thanks button below. Join our membership for more prayers and blessings. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos.